Although we already know many Excel functions, sometimes we have a work problem that we are unable to solve. I am Nabil Murad. In this series, I show you how to break down the problem to build the logic for a solution using the knowledge you already have. So let's dive in. In this work situation, I have in each cell a combination of digits, characters, and symbols. My goal is to sum the digits for each cell. So the concept I'll follow is to count how many characters I have in each cell. I want to separate them, exclude the non-digit, and add up the digits. I start by counting the digits, characters, and symbols by using a len function. In cell B1, I type equal len. And then I hit tab. I select cell A1. I close the bracket. When I hit enter, it says you have 22 characters. In preparation for splitting them, I want to create a sequence of numbers from 1 to 22, the result of the length function. Then I put my function in the edit mode and I wrap it in a sequence function. I close the bracket for the sequence function. And when I hit enter, I get the sequence of numbers I want. I will use the result of the sequence function for splitting the contents of cell A1 using the mid function. I put my function in the edit mode. I click before the sequence and I type mid and then I hit tab. Where is the text you want to use? It's in cell A1. I type a comma. What's the start number? The start number will be the result of the sequence function. I click at the end, and because I want to extract one single character at a time, I type comma 1, and I close the bracket, and then I hit enter. Although I was able to split the contents of cell A1, but because the mid function is a text function, everything is left aligned. I want to change the alignment. I want Excel to recognize the digits. Then I select my function one more time. I put it in the edit mode F2. And before the mid function, I type a double negative. When I hit enter, the alignment has changed. Now I see the digits, and anything which is not a digit returns a value error. So let's exclude the value errors. I put my function in the edit mode one more time, and I wrap all this function, mid sequence and len, in an if error function. If all this bunch of functions returns an error, what do you want? I type a comma, I want a zero, and I close the bracket. Now anything which is not a digit has been replaced by a zero. I'm ready to add up the contents of cell A1 by wrapping all these functions in a sum function. Equal sum, I hit the tab key, I close the bracket at the end, and here is my solution. Let's copy it down, double click and send it down, et voila! If you want to watch more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, and you will be notified as soon as I post the next problem along with the solution. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.